right. So uh, a linear relationship exists between two variables, you know, like x and y. If the rate of change between them is constant, and I'll I'll kind of show you what that means. Um, it's called a linear relationship because their graph will be a straight line like this, and linear just means line. Um, and a linear equation describes kind of how that linear relationship between the variables works. So here I've got a linear equation and um, which describes how uh, y and x relate to each other and then I've got a table of values that shows different values for x and different values for y and then I've graphed the same the same function here um, as a line. So these are three different ways of looking at this linear relationship between x and y and uh, the way you can tell it's a linear relationship is one if you graph it and it's a line then then it's then there's a linear relationship there um, but you can also see if the rate of change is constant so uh, rate of change means is is a comparison of um, how quickly y changes so the change in y or in this this is just a this is called a delta and that's just a way of um, it's a symbol for change um, so the change in y, you know, so what y does when it goes from one value to another, uh, over the change in x, or you might see it written as, you know, you take two different points, um, and so um, you said take the y coordinate of the second point, subtract the y coordinate of the first point, over um, same thing with the x's. And what I mean, I just like to look at it like, like this: the change in y over the change in x. So, or how quickly is y changing versus how quickly x is changing? So let's look at um, this idea of a um, the rate of change being constant. And what that means is, so I could um, let's look at these two points here. So the rate of change between those two points would be um, four minus two. So that the second y coordinate over um, um, second y coordinate minus the first y coordinate so 4 minus 2 over the second x coordinate minus the first x coordinate so 2 minus 1 so 4 minus 2 is 2 2 minus 1 is 1 we could simplify that to 2 so the rate of change between those two points is 2 um, I could do the same thing with uh, these two points in fact let me do it with another color um, Let's see, so we could have, so the um, first, so let's start with that y. So second y coordinate, um, let me, let's make this, I don't know, um, that color. Six, um, and then let's, let's look at this guy. So six minus two over uh, this guy minus this guy. So look at the difference, three minus one. 6 minus 2 is 4, and 3 minus 1 is 2. Well, if I reduce that down, 4 over 2, that is equal to 2 as well. So the rate of, of change is also 2. And I could do the same thing between any two points, um, uh, any, any two of the data points. So if I've, if I've got a table of values, I can find the rate of change between two of the points um, in the table, I could start with an equation and plug in some x's and get some y's and create data points and then find the rate of change between them. I could pick off points uh, on the graph and look at look at how the y changes versus how the x changes. And if the rate of change is always the same thing, then that is a linear relationship.